be making bases. Hey, what's going on? My name is Ever J Music, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create tracks in Logic Pro 10 10.5. Now, as producers and composers, the main track that you're going to be creating is a software instrument track. And as you can see right here, you have different options that you can choose from. If you want a software instrument track, all you have to do is click right here where it says software instrument track at the top. Make sure that you also look under details because you can actually uh, select the instrument that you want to use right here. So we have Alchemy, which is very much a... Uh, go to when it comes to creating new music you can go to the drum kit designer and all these other different instruments right here let's just go ahead and go with alchemy we'll go with stereo also another thing to keep in mind you can also open up the the sound library in logic pro 10 right here is by clicking that they also have a multi timbral uh, mode i don't usually use that but you can click that if you want and very important you also want to make sure that you have the right output selected so go over here to audio output and select audio output one and two another thing that's very important is to making sure you have the right device here so if you're using a digital audio interface this is where you're going to select that so you click right here on this little arrow You'll go over here to output device if you don't already have the selected select your audio output your digital audio interface and same with your input device as well last thing i'll talk about is um, how many numbers of tracks that you want to select so sometimes as creators we already know we're going to be focusing heavily on melody so this is where you can say all right let me just create six tracks six melody tracks so i don't have to keep on creating them over and over again so you just go ahead and type the number of tracks you want to create and then go over here and push create as you can see you got all six tracks created you got your uh, alchemy sound bank pulled up and each particular track has that alchemy sound bank add it right there now let's say that you are already in creation mode and you want to create a new track the way that you would do that is go over here to this plus sign and it's going to pull this back up and you can go to the same process of selecting whatever you want again you can come over here to this quick sampler you can come over here to the sampler multi sample they have a sculptor sound uh, studio horns any of these different instrument tracks you can create just like that Another way you can create tracks is to go over here to track at the very top and push new tracks. Same process. There's also a hotkey that you can use and it would be option, command, and in. In for new, okay? Option, command, in. So I can push option, command, in. Bam, and it pulls right up. The other track that you're going to be using most of the time as a producer is going to be this audio track. Um, audio tracks, obviously, are very simple to create as well. You're just going to go up to the very top, click on audio, make sure that you select the right audio input. So like on your digital audio interface, if you have your mic or your bass or your guitar instrument, whatever you're plugging up to record audio, if it's in input one, obviously select input one, if it's input two, or if you have one that has multiple different inputs, you wanted to make sure you select the right input. Um, now you can use these options right here. I particularly stray away from complicating things. Um, ascending is going to be obviously like say if you have more than one input like a whole lot of input so I, that's where you would use that they had a deep uh, default patch as far as loading uh, that you could do that or you can open your music library but like I said I usually leave those unchecked another thing you also want to make sure you do is on your audio outputs again uh, make sure you have uh, output one and two selected and then you can pretty much make sure your device is selected as well right there same thing here you can select a number of tracks alright so we have other different tracks you can also create in logic we have this drummer track um, the drummer feature is basically like a preloaded uh, drum pattern creator if you will okay you can do different genres from hip hop to R&B to electronic to rock, alternative, even a songwriter type of uh, genre. And pretty much you would just select that genre, 
So we can do hip hop, make sure you have the right output selected. If you're using a digital audio interface, select that, plus create. Another one you can do is a guitar and bass. So this is basically an audio track, except for it has certain things already pre-selected, like input monitoring, which you would need if, if you're doing a guitar or bass track. You know, basically you could plug your 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 headphones in and everything like that. And also if you wanted to be able to see what the input signal is and everything, that's what that's, that's for. Um, we have this loaded default patch and open library. So like, let's just click there and I'll show you what's going on that. Basically this default patch right here, um, it has several different uh, predetermined uh, plugins that you would need for guitar and bass which is pretty dope. So we got the noise gate, a pedal, amp, some type of EQ and a compressor. So that in a nutshell is how you, you know, create new tracks in Logic Pro 10. There was an option here for external MIDI, but a lot of times, you know, you're not really going to have to work with that. That's more of an advanced level, you know, track that you would create. You know, again, most of the time, this is going to be a software instrument or audio track that you're going to be creating. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the videos to come.